Hello fellow hunters, a little disclaimer before the video. It is already confirmed that the USJ armor set will be available globally in a later date. You can either wait or make the effort if you really want the armor. Check Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Reddit. I originally planned on waiting for it but I saw a streamer's Facebook post and I gave it a try. I read his Reddit post for the rules, went to his stream, followed him, and waited. This was a first come first serve session. He posted the session ID and I was able to join. If I wasn't able to join, I wouldn't have made another attempt. I have no affiliation with this streamer or made any donation to him. This was all by chance and made possible by Fokuisaurus0913. Links to his stream and reddit posts are in the description. If you are planning to join the USJ quest, always be respectful and follow the rules. Alright, time to play wait in line simulator the game. There is nothing manlier than being sandwiched between two pink samurais. Is that a long sword in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Pro tip, if you're getting bored, use your gestures unless it is against the rules of the session. My reaction upon seeing that huge great Chagras was, holy shit, that's a huge great Chagras. I'm using the shield and sword to represent the SMS community. One down, two to go. I am surprised that I am having fun with the SNS. The combos are easy to learn and fluid. The DPS may not be high compared to the other weapons, but the mobility and ability to use the slinger while your weapon is thrown are the major advantages of this weapon. I didn't even realize that a third great Chagras was a baby. He may be cute, but the armor for my Palico is cuter. Just what I needed. Largest and smallest gold crowns. Platinum trophy, here I come. Also, MVP, making the SNS community proud. Back to Wait in Line Simulator, the game. This guy knows what to do when you're bored. This is pretty much a rinse and repeat video. No highlight for me. I have failed the SNS community. Waiting in line again. Yes, I made that sound effect with my mouth. Feeling confident, I decided to take on the other two great Chagrises. I may have underestimated the power of having a small frame. The hitbox. MVP again. This is the point where I got bored. I'm actually 12 years old. Just keep killing. Just keep killing. Just keep killing. MVP. For USJ Part 1, just keep killing until you get 6 Azure Shards for the Palico Armor and Low Rank Longsword. I now have enough materials to craft the Palico Armor and Longsword. Right now, I'm typing in chat and thanking them for the session. This is sped up by the way. Once you have enough materials, leave the session so that other people can join. Remember you need 6 Azure Star Shards for the Palico Armor and Longsword. For the scheduled USJ Part 2, it was cancelled due to personal reasons. But later at night while playing Monster Hunter World, I got a notification on my phone that Fokuizor0913 was online. I went to a stream and it was a closed session. I was just active in chat and was able to get the session ID. Yes, I was waiting for the line to load in. Maybe I should have checked the player list first. I was reluctant at first, but then I remembered the armor set. You can clearly see here that I am a master of the dual blades. At least I tried. I see Hammer Bro coming in for the head bonks, so I switched to the tail. A small PSA, since the monster is small, there's a high chance I will be flinching my fellow hunters, so be mindful of your position. Back in line. Do it for the armor. For the USJ part 2, you need 7 Azure gems, 5 for the armor, and 2 for the long swords. Here are the stats for the weapon and armor. Keep in mind, I'm not wearing any accessories such as talents and charms in my pouch. That's the end of the video, hope you guys enjoyed it.